In the final section of the screencast, we will familiarize ourselves with some popular Clojure web libraries. In previous section, we tend to implement things ourselves to get a better understanding of how everything works underneath. Of course, once we possess that knowledge, it is more important to deliver working solutions fast and in good condition rather than write everything from scratch. Naturally, there are a number of libraries aiding the construction of Clojure web applications. We will only cover a few of them in this section. First, we'll replace our custom routing mechanism with Composure. Then, our simple HTML generation tool will be replaced by Hiccup. Next, we will apply EnLive for HTML templating. And finally, we will rework our REST API to use a liberator. Let's start with Composure. Naturally, we first need to add it to our project CLG file. Now we can update the routes. First, we need to add a requirement for Composure Core in our namespace. Next, we can update our routing handler to use Composure instead of custom routing mechanism. We have used some of the macros provided by Composure. DevRoots creates a routing handler from the provided routes and binds it to a designated symbol in the current namespace. Just as in our routing mechanism, the first non-nil result is returned. The get and any macros define a handler that will execute its body only when the request matches the root definition, method type and request path. Composure provides utility macros for all HTTP verbs. Since we are using macros now, we can actually provide the function body and the structure the handler arguments of a request instead of just passing a function reference. If we have our handlers structured properly, we can use this to simplify our code a little bit. In our case, we'll just take the request map as it is and apply it to existing handlers. One exception is the form handler, which we will provide with the login argument previously taken explicitly from the request parameters, this will now be provided by Composure. Please observe that our middleware and other handlers can stay as they are since they are using common ring conventions. So the blog REST API can still use our routing mechanism. One thing that we can do easily to group our REST API is to set it in a Composure context, directing only the request matching slash entries path there. The context macro takes a path, a list of arguments to be extracted from it, and a list of routes to be processed. Since we have the prefix provided in the parent root in the project1 core root handler, we can simplify our REST API even when not using Composure for routing there. To make it work properly with the Composure context, we also need to use the path info element of the request map instead of URI. Let's start a ring server to see if everything is working as expected. The resources are served correctly and we can access the handlers as we did before. The parameter login has been passed with the aid from Composure and we can still use the REST API to manage blog entries through Clojure Script, for example. This concludes the first video of this section. We have connected Composure to our project for easier routing, but we can still use other routing techniques and existing middleware if we need to. In the next video, we will learn how to generate HTML code with Hiccup.